our first step, we'll be drilling a hole for the gutter to flow down into in the top of our barrel here around this port. So in order to get water out of our barrel, we're going to drill a hole with this three quarter inch drill bit in the bottom of the front of the barrel, approximately there. And then uh, for an overflow port at the top, we want this about a third of the way around the barrel, kind of towards the back, but not so far that you can't access it. So you don't want water running down the side of your house. So we'll drill that one in a couple inches down from the top right about here. So now we'll screw in our spigot at the bottom of the rain barrel. Now we'll install our overflow port. We already have a reducing washer and a bushing inside here, and we'll screw on the elbow spout to the outside. We already sawed off our downspout uh, at the appropriate height. You'll have to measure your barrel and your gutter to figure this out. And then we have a flexo spout, which is going to connect the down spout to the rain barrel. And it has two different sized ends with two different sized fittings on them. And we are going to install the larger end. This is an industrial gutter, so it's not going to fit quite right in this video. But for your residential gutter, this will work. So we have cut off one end of our flexus spout. This is going to be the down end into the rain barrel. And we have this filter that we're going to attach to the bottom just to catch any leaves or big material that we don't want in our barrel. So we'll fit this in to our cut end. And then we will screw it on with two of these self-drilling screws one on either side. So we have our flexus spout put together with our strainer basket at the bottom and we've drilled it in but when it does get filled up with leaves or other gunk the design allows you to compress it away from the screws, pull it out, clean it, and then reinstall. So now we will insert the top of the flexus spout, in our case inside, but in your case outside the sawed off down spout. And fit the bottom end into, or just resting on, the hole in our rain barrel. So to help with water flowing out of our rain barrel and water pressure, we've got our rain barrel elevated on a ledge so we can fit a hose under our spigot. But in your case, you might want to elevate it on bricks or concrete blocks just to get it a foot or two off the ground. The hose can also be attached to our overflow port to direct overflow away from your house. Thanks for watching our video and now you know how to install your very own rain barrel and conserve water at your home.